guys, it's me. I know it's been a really long time. Um, the girls are now one year old. They turned one on April 1st. Here's Ava. Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. She's one. She's one. Hi, YouTube. Anyways, um, they're getting so big as you can see. I can't believe that, you know, in the very first video when I was introducing them and they were so little and then now they're just like big. Um, that was Ava and she is, I guess we can start with her. She is into everything. Um, yeah, she's a very in-your-face baby. She needs your attention at all times. She talks so much that we find ourselves constantly saying, like, shh, Ava, shh. And so this morning, it was so funny in bed, um, she, we heard her going, shh, shh. Like, what's she doing? And then we realized that she was just saying, shh, because that's what she's used to hearing, which is kind of sad, but it's funny. Uh, <laughs> but um, she... Both the girls are not, um, they're okay, not so um, the girls aren't walking, but they are crawling and they're cruising, and Ava actually took two steps, was it, she took two steps last night, and then um, she did it this morning too, of course for daddy, like for me, it was like the one step and then she would sit down, but I'm really surprised that they're both not walking because they both crawled really early, I mean Leah was crawling it, just, she just turned six months and she was crawling. But I think it's just the fact that they can get where they want to go crawling and they're fine with that. Um, now Leah is Miss Independent. She is very easygoing. She comes to me when she wants to eat and she comes to me when she needs to be changed. Other than that, she's fine just playing on her own. It makes it really easy. Sometimes it's like I have to take time out to make sure that we do spend time with Leah because she's just so independent. And she doesn't require that um, hands-on attention that, that Ava does. Um, but other than that, everything's going really good. Um, they had their first birthday, and it was awesome. Um, I did a lot of it myself. I went on Etsy, got ideas, and made the stuff myself. And I'm going to try to put out a video on everything that I did for that. Um, let me think. I know I've been, like, so lax in all my videos, but it's just really hard because I work full-time. I have the girls, and, you know, working nights, um... When I'm home, I'm just dead tired, so I'm laying around, and my hair is not brushed, I'm wearing PJs, and so yeah, I had a friend, and you, know, and you know who you are, who told me to get up, brush my hair, and put some clothes on, so that's what I did. So yeah, this hair, you know, this mommy needs a major makeover. Um, my hair is so funky now that I've had the girls. I mean, I've got like curls and waves that I never had before, and it's a lot of it's new growth that's coming in curly. I've always had straight hair. What's that? I mean, look at this. Look at these curls. What is this? Funky. That's what that is. And I hate it. So, yeah. My hair is just blah. Um, so I need a whole, like, mommy, like, redo. But that's another story. Um, so we're still breastfeeding. Breastfeeding's still going strong. Uh, everybody, I mean, I'm telling you, like, leading up to the days turning one, I'm telling you, that's all people ask me. So when are you going to wean the girls? When are you going to wean the girls? Um... I don't know, and I have no answer. Um, I don't see weaning like in the near future. I know the new recommendation is to two, and that's kind of the goal. But if they decide they want to stop before then, okay. And maybe if they want to go a bit after two, I think I'm okay with that. I don't know. I'm not putting any pressure on the time. Um, it's not hard to do for us. We're, we're used to it. It's easy. It fixes all boo-boos. It calms them. It comforts them. It's um, made them incredibly healthy. They've been rarely sick. I think they've had two colds the whole time, their whole one year, which I think is pretty good. My husband and I have gotten sick and they haven't gotten it. So um, I think it's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself going this long. But I think I'll do a vlog all on my breastfeeding and how it's gone this first year. But um, I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. I mean, the girls are just been such a joy. They, I'm telling you in the beginning, it was so hard. I, I used to, my husband and I used to look at each other and go, what did we get ourselves into, you know? But now, it's like it's gotten so much easier. We can go out to dinner. And it, granted, it's crazy at dinner time because they, um, they want, you know, to eat your food. They want to eat everything. They want to throw it on the floor. They want to stand up in the high chair, you know, that kind of thing. But it's getting better because, you know, we're setting the rules and stuff about going out because we don't like, we don't want to have those kids where people are whispering about like, will they get out of this restaurant kind of thing. You know, we want to be able to go out to dinner and enjoy ourselves. And so now we actually have to order a separate entree for the girls, which is kind of expensive now. 
but um, you know they're good eaters. They you know they weren't totally into solids until just recently. You know I was feeding them solids and everything, but they weren't they were still breastfeeding mainly, and now they really require at least a three meals of solids and then plus breastfeeding. I don't I can't tell you how often they breastfeed during the day. It's kind of on demand, but um, Ava is a very picky eater. She doesn't like anything messy. She doesn't want her hands messy. She doesn't want to be dirty. She likes meat and she likes bread. That's Ava. She doesn't like any, like, we tried to give her a pickle the other day. Yeah, that wasn't happening. She will eat veggies, but, you know, it's always when I give her something, she looks at me like I'm giving her poison. Like, Mom, are you serious? You're trying to feed me this? Now, Leah, on the other thing, she is a goat. She will eat anything, even if it's not edible, which is disgusting. I won't even tell you the amount of things I've dug out of this girl's mouth. It's gross. Um, she has eaten cat food, okay? She's eaten cat food and some other things. <laughs> so we try not to think about what we're digging out of Leah's mouth. Um, when it comes to food, anything and everything just goes in. She's just happy to just be eating whatever, um, which is a lot of fun. You know, I have a lot of food allergies, so I was concerned about the girls. So far, so good. Um, early on, they did have a dairy sensitivity when I was breastfeeding, but now um, we, we waited to start any kind of dairy, meaning like cheese or yogurt, till they hit a year. And so far, they've done really well. Let's think of what else. They both have eight teeth, four on top, four on the bottom. I think we're working on more because they've been really kind of cranky the, these last few days. Um, I feel like I'm talking really fast, but I just have like so much to cover. Uh, so much just happens. They love their Cheerios in the morning. Um, they're not big breakfast eaters, so they generally just munch on some Cheerios and, um, and nurse. But lunch and dinner are big for them. Um, 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 but I'm just trying to think, like I, you know, I was really focused on having them walking by now, and I'm kind of disappointed, but what can you do? They pick when they do stuff. Um, we do have a lot of changes, and uh, I'll probably do like a little vlog of all our little updates. You know, we have moved, and so the girls have their own room now, which is awesome, and I can't wait to show it off to everybody. It is very pink, and I love it. Um, and then, let's think, um, we're getting ready for summer. It's getting hot. I can't wait to take the girls swimming. Uh, yeah. So, I feel like this is all over the place. Because a friend of mine has pushed me into it today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I'll try to get the girls over here and let them talk to you a little bit. And we'll see what happens. Alright. Okay, so here are the girls. Let me get them on my lap. Here's Ava. We saw Ava yeah. earlier. Come here, Lee. Here's Miss Leah. Can you believe how big they're getting? Yes, they're sucking on wipes. I don't know why that's so exciting, but it is. Say hi, you two. We're big one-year-olds now. You say hi. Do you say hi, Leah? Say hi. You are such a wiggle worm. All right, bye, guys. Say hi. Uh, hi, YouTube. Hi. Yeah, I hi, YouTube.